Hey y'all. <laughs> What's up guys? It's July 26th at 540 Pacific time. Um just a little update. My birthday is in five days or something. I don't know, it's on the thirty first, it's on Friday. That should be fun. Um if you'll notice I'm wearing my stand and style shirt and for the first time ever I'll get closer. Um someone commented on it because I'm in San Francisco. They're like, stand in style! I'm like, yeah, man! Not like they knew what it was, they just thought I was promoting urinating in style. Um, but anyways... Dean, I need... Can I have some tea? I need some more chamomile tea. Oh, yeah. I'm puffed. Sure. Thank you. Um, anyways, uh, just a few things to get out of the way. I've been, um... Still taking SCP orders, really slow on getting them out. I never promise when I get them out, but um, I've really been trying to figure out ideas to better STPs, to whatever. I've been reading books on human anatomy, comparing our uh, genotourinary tracts and systems, the male and females, and trying to figure out... You are Charles Astro. Oh, thank you. I need, I need that tea. Hold on, hold on. I'm sorry. Chamomile tea, it's a secret to good health. Thank you, Bedeen. Um, You're welcome. But anyways, you know, I've been uh, looking at books on anatomy, and, um, you know, I, I've been talking to some people since, like, December about a better design for STPs, and, um, you know, a guy asked the FTM trans group recently, like, he wants something that you can just pull out and not have to set up with both hands, which I get. That'd be awesome just to pull it out like a penis. So, um... You know, like a non-trans male does. You know, just not have to think about it, whatever. So, another guy said they made these back in the 90s or something, but they involved a catheter being put up there, and that was connected to the packer, and it just caused all kinds of infections and stuff. So, trying to think of something, some kind of solution. So, um, I might mold my own packers with some kind of, like, whiz-type design molded into it. I, re I don't really know how this can work, but if anyone has any idea, like, um how this type of thing might work, how to better an STP design, I don't know, and also speaking of, of the STPs, I do make them, but um, like I said, really slow on the output, because I'm doing a thousand of other things for the trans community, but um, Heather and her boyfriend, I'm not sure his name, sorry, but Heather, her name is My Trans Man on here, and she sells binders and packers, so you should hit her up, you should hit her up, but, um, oh yeah, I wanted to, um, I read Wired Magazine, because I'm a nerd, and um, the latest issue has Brad Pitt on it. Where's the magazine? Bedin. Bedinia. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, I'm here, I'll show you. Um, okay, it has Brad Pitt on it. The fine man that he is. And, um, uh, you know, a lot of trans guys talk about urinal etiquette, like basic urinal etiquette. If there's, like, more than two, you always take the opposite ends. So Brad Pitt, in this case, is committing a urinal faux pas because he's in the middle and there's a guy to the left of him. So, unless he was in the middle first and the guy is actually committing a faux pas, then Brad Pitt is in the wrong. He should have gone to this one. But, um, you always pick the one farthest away, blah, blah. You can look up urinal etiquette games. They're, they're everywhere. But, um, okay. This is the newest update to urinal etiquette because now we're in the digital age with PDAs, mobile phones, whatever. This is Ask a Bastard. Can I talk on the phone while taking a whiz? No, you can't talk on the phone. Do you want the guy next to you to hear your entire conversation? That's why you should only text in the bathroom. Just be sure you don't hit the wrong button and end up putting a photo of your junk on Twitter. Trust me, you don't want those followers. Well, guess what? Someone did put a picture of my junk on Twitter. That was fun. Thank you. You know who you are. Um, but Brad Pitt here is texting. And I've totally talked on the phone. Well, whatever. But um, I, I, don't, I don't make a habit. I actually don't like to do it. I hate when guys come in and use the urinal next to me and fucking talk on the phone. I'm like... Like, I just want to fucking pee. And you're like, oh, yeah, I'm gonna blah, 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 order a pizza later. Or, honey, I'm, I'm like, does your wife know you're sta okay. standing in a urinal talking to her? But, um, yeah, urinal, urinal etiquette. Just, I don't know, it's just basic stuff. And when you go into a men's bathroom, it is like a split second decision when you look at what urinal to take. Don't stand there and be like, oh, uh, don't, it, don't fumble. If you're gonna do that, just go straight to the stall. Because it's like this, you see a guy, just like your brain just knows which one to go to. So, if you're failing at the urinal etiquette games, it's just, you know, there's no hope for you. No, I'm just kidding. Um, 
Like, don't take that seriously. Um, no, really just, it's a split-second decision. Play the urinal game, see how you do. I was totally kidding with that. Um, it's really a comfort thing. Like, not all guys, not all guys born male with the right equipment use the urinals. Like, they just don't want to pee in front of people. I have a, I have had friends that were born male they are just pee shy and they pee in the stall. So, don't get hung up. Don't get hung up if you have to sit down. Who the fuck cares? Like, so... It's pee. It doesn't matter. It doesn't make you a man. It doesn't make whatever. And trans women, if you want to pee standing up, because I saw a trans woman make a video about, it's just pee. You know, she's like, if I want to stand up, I'll stand up. If I want to sit down, I'll sit down. I was like, exactly. Like, who cares how it comes out? So, that's something I think that causes FTMs a lot of anxiety. And I know I made a video with Derek, because I know people will cite this. And, you know, he said, you know, it's a little socially awkward for guys to pee sitting down. But that's just his experiences. And, you know, I was talking to a friend last night, and he was like, we can't. We don't all have the same experience, so, you know, don't always, you know, take what I say is just the only way FTMs are or anything. That's not how it is. That's just what I've noticed, and, um, you know, whatever. I just want to put that out there. It's kind of like a disclaimer, like, my way of being trans or how I live my life or my way of being male or experiencing my masculinity or transness is not universal in any way, shape, or form. So, goodbye from Brad and I, and uh, we'll see you later.